SV Ketzel is still tied in, tied up in her slip at Harrington Harbor South. But in about an hour, we're gonna drop the lines, we're gonna head out on Herring Bay. And then we're gonna head south. And uh, ideally we'd go as far as Charleston. I'll have to play that by ear, you know how that is. The weather is uh, always changing. We've undertaken a lot of work since we got back from New England. Uh, we've had our leisure furling boom rebuilt. We've had a new staysail furler installed. So we're all harking up on the foredeck now. We have had some engine work done. We've got a new turbo and an after cooler. Uh, engine seems to be running well. At any rate, come aboard. <laughs> Join the crew of SV Ketzel and prepare to hold fast. Get the amazing angelfish and her hardy crew. So good to see you. We're sorry we're kind of missing you. Oh, that's okay. I mean, we'll catch up in America. Yes, you will. The boat looks good. Yeah, it needs a wax, but... It's all right. Oh, that looks so nice. <laughs> yeah, don't run into us. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. That would not be good. I don't have the Y'all look good. Y'all shiny. You are shiny. Very shiny. Good to see you. Nice to see you guys. <laughs> Sailors, so we left this morning. And now we're back. Actually, we went out in Herring Bay and we anchored. I had to do a uh, had a business call. We got underway. Captain Lizzie went down below to check uh, on things, and we discovered the shaft seal spitting water everywhere. No bueno. So back to the slip we came, but shaft seal duly adjusted and tied. I think coming back in in an hour or two, we're going to try again. So hopefully uh, we'll be underway uh, still today and headed south. Here we go. Attempt number two to depart Herring Bay, 3 p.m. to November. It's chilly. Well, it's time for your 3 a.m. update. We've been underway for 12 hours, uh, covered about 90 miles, averaging seven knots, all of that under motor. We're about four hours uh, north of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. And when we cross over the tunnel, we will be in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, the forecast is improved. What originally looked like uh, was gonna be a, a several day motor to our final destination, whether that's Beaufort, Wrightsville Beach, or Charleston. It now looks like we'll pick up some wind this afternoon, maybe around 2 p.m. And then that wind would carry us through to our final destination. We'll see where we go. Um, I haven't decided yet uh, where we will pull in. I think that all depends on crew morale uh, and the conditions on the ocean. Now you're talking. After about 20 hours of motoring, uh, we're out in the Atlantic Ocean and we've got a nice fresh breeze just filling in and we've got all sails up making about eight knots. I need to tighten up that Genoa a little bit. Tighten up the Yankee. Oh, sailors, well, I'm sorry I haven't uh, updated you much. I haven't filmed much. Last 24 hours was a little hectic. Uh, getting around Hatteras in a bit of a squally situation, and now the winds picked up pretty stiff. It's actually making for very good sailing. We have a uh, reefed main in the stay slot. We're making about eight and a, eight and a half knots. Um, we have decided to head for Wrightsville Beach. We were thinking about Charleston, but the make Charleston we would have had to stay farther out at sea where there is quite a line of ugly weather let me show you
Banks Channel Anchorage is one of our favorites on the East Coast. It's relatively secure. It's close to uh, provisions. It's close to the beach. It's close to Tower 7, one of the best taco restaurants on the East Coast. We love it there. There's a public dinghy dock, and there are a couple of great uh, bars and restaurants that you can dinghy to from the Anchorage. We were blessed with amazing weather for the week that we were anchored in Banks Channel. We had a chance to catch up with some very special friends, but then it was time to leave. Well, good morning, sailors. We've been here in Banks Channel, uh, Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina, for about a week. And we're getting ready to hoist the anchor and head further south. We're gonna head to Charleston. We're gonna be on a 150 mile run probably 16 to 20 hours depending on the conditions but continuing to take this old girl uh, to warmer climates so come aboard as we head out Masonboro Inlet out into the big blue ocean and uh, hoist the sails should be a nice breeze coming through looks like we'll have to motor for a couple of hours and then uh, a front's going to come through and bring us a nice north nor'easter um, with uh, high teens gusting in the 20s so should move us along pretty quickly. It's a great anchorage. It's pretty full today. Just a bunch of folks came in last night. Many of them did not seem to know how to anchor. Here we go. Here we go. Saying goodbye to Masonboro Inlet. Say goodbye to Wrightsville Beach. Woo. Okay, reef main, staysail. I don't make it about six and a half, maybe. about uh, 6 30 p.m and we're expecting this big wind shift right now the wind is still sort of out of the west uh, west southwest uh, but at any moment uh, a front is going to come through and the wind is going to shift completely um, to the north it's been creeping a little bit um, and backing i'm just trying to stay ahead of it yeah, so in a, in a very short period, we should go from really what's a close reach to uh, a very broad reach. And we will actually, at the same time, we're going to change our course over ground, our heading, probably by 90 degrees. Okay, well, uh, the wind kicked in right about uh, 820. We've got uh, more than 20 knots apparent way back there. Super broad reach, almost a run. Uh, we've got a reef main and the staysail out, and you can see we're cooking along. It was really chilly out there, so thank God for Lizzie and her hand warmers.
As you may know, Charleston is not the most friendly anchoring uh, grounds in the world, so we ended up taking a mooring ball up at the Daniel Island Yacht Club until we could get a slip at Charleston Maritime Center. The Charleston Maritime Center is a great option for sailors that are stopping in Charleston. It's close to downtown and the rates are reasonable. Charleston offers a wonderful opportunity for liberty. We enjoy going to Church and Union, a Jamie Lynch restaurant where an artist has written the entire Art of War by Sun Tzu on the ceiling. Pretty interesting place. Old church has been converted to a fantastic restaurant. Another favorite haunt is this speakeasy behind these doors and down these stairs. We enter this dimly lit bar. No signage, no name, just a good hangout. The bathrooms in Charleston can be interesting as well. Mother Nature smiled on us for a few days and I was able to get some varnish on the cap rail. The highlight of our visit to Charleston this year was uh, an evening at the Jazz Club for Gatsby Night. So we're the Gatsby Orchestra and if you happen to wander in here tonight and you're wondering what's happening here, we're playing 1920s and 30s music. Before we knew it, it was Thanksgiving and after a great meal, it was time to leave. Hi everybody, well, S.V. Ketzel is here at uh, Charleston Maritime Center. Actually, we've been here for about, I don't know, 11 days. Been in Charleston for about 12 days. And it's time to keep heading south. Get some calm winds today, but we're gonna head on down to Hilton Head. Actually, we're gonna pull out of this marina. We're gonna go anchor on the other side of the river here over by the uh, Charleston Harbor Resort Marina where they have the aircraft carrier, Yorktown. And then we're gonna wait till later this afternoon. We're gonna cast off or hoist the anchor and head out of the harbor and make for Hilton Head. The reason we're gonna wait is it's only about an 80 mile run to Hilton Head. And if we leave now, we're just gonna get there in the middle of the night. And in fact, our plan is even leaving at about five or six is to go very slowly. Um, so that we arrive in the channel there, which is the Savannah Ship Channel, uh, where there can be a lot of traffic. We'll arrive there at daybreak. After several hours of really going nowhere, the wind finally started to fill in and we, we began to make time towards Hilton Head. So, this is the Savannah Ship Channel. We'll get in right there, up to about here, and then we're going to break off and go up in Calibogue Sound, get the back side of Hilton Head. There you go. So again, we'll uh, enter the channel about there, and then we get out of it and come up here and up into there. This is Hilton Head right there. And just like that, S.V. Ketzel is tied up at Palmetto Bay Marina on Broad Creek in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Well, ahoy sailors. S.V. Ketzel and crew are here at Harbor Town Yacht Basin in Hilton Head, South Carolina. And actually the boat's been here for a month while we spend a little time on land, enjoying the company of family and friends for the holidays. 
But now it's time to get back underway. In an hour or two, we'll cast off the lines, head out to Cali Buggy Sound, cross the Savannah Ship Channel, out into the Atlantic Ocean, and making for Point South. Probably gonna pull in at St. Augustine. We would really like to go farther, but unfortunately, there's really, we'd have to go all the way down to like Lake Worth or um, Key Biscayne to find a good anchorage between St. Augustine and, and Southern Florida, far South Florida. Uh, there's no slips available right now. It's a very crowded time of the year. So we're gonna head to St. Augustine where we'll probably pick up a morning ball and we'll be there for a few weeks we'll, and then continue our trek south. Harbor Town is a man-made basin. It's circular, um, super sheltered, floating docks, very nice marina. Great place to leave your boat for the holidays because they have good security and there's great shelter in here. And the marina is surrounded by shops and restaurants. It's really a great stop. So here aboard the boat, as usual, we've made a quick inspection of the rigging. We have installed the jack lines. We pulled up the fenders since the wind is pushing us away from the dock and we'll drop those down below before we leave. Last thing to do will be to disconnect the dock water and the shore power. Then we'll be ready to cast off. It looks like we're gonna have great sailing today. It is a little chilly. It's in the 40s, gonna get up into the mid 50s. We've got a strong breeze out of the west and you know a sailor can't pass up a west breeze on the east coast. West is best. Let's go below and I'll update you on the sail plan. Okay, so what's our float plan? We're up here, just north of Savannah at Hilton Head Island. And we'll be leaving the marina and heading out Cali Bogey Sound, which is that body of water right there, which you can barely see, out across the Savannah Ship Channel. We will have the wind out of the west, southwest initially. Be heading out here, probably close reach. And then, Sometime later this afternoon, the wind is going to shift to the west and we will turn and basically follow that, keeping the wind on the beam down to St. Augustine. It's about 130 miles, 140 miles, um, probably be about a 20 hour passage. So we should get there as the sun's coming up. So here's the conditions, wind's picking up. Um, it's gusting between, say, 12 and 18. All right, we escaped the grasp of the marina. We're out here in uh, whatever river this is, Collie Bogey Sound. We popped the sails right up, so I think we ran the inch for about 20 minutes. Let's see if we can... Uh, Keep the engine off for this passage. Currently we're in quite close hold. The breeze is coming up this, this body of water. So we're in close hold here. There's a, there's a little tricky bit here. reach now it's a lot better all right well here we are we got uh, west southwest winds blowing maybe um, low 20s high teens low 20s occasional gusts uh, high 20s we have full main and a full stay so I did have part of the jet Probably averaging about seven and a half knots. Averaging seven and a half. Maybe that cat ran into more dust.
Well, folks, we're flying along here. Um, conditions really couldn't be better. We've got uh, wind has picked up, actually, per the forecast. We now have wind in the mid-20s, occasionally gusting up around 30, a little bit over 30. The wind is uh, west, west-southwest, and it's shifting more to the west. Um, honestly, it's fantastic. You know, you dream of these days when you've got great wind um, from the west. West is best, right? Because there's no fetch. There's not enough. Uh, there's not enough fetch for the waves to build up, even though the wind's quite strong. And yeah, it's a little bumpy occasionally, but this is fantastic conditions. And you know, unfortunately, I bet a lot of people aren't out here today. The, the Chris Parker forecast was sort of very um, cautionary. So very, very difficult sailing conditions today because of the strong west, west-southwest winds. Um, and unfortunately, you know, yes, it's strong west-southwest winds, but it's exactly what you need to move the sailboat along. And it's perfect because it's from the west. So, you know, sailboats need the wind. Uh, good strong wind coming offshore as long as you reef appropriately, um, is, is wonderful. And that's what we have today. Careful with that sharp knife. <laughs> Chicken and rice tonight. Well, the wind has fallen off a bit and it has shifted uh, now to the northwest. Well, west northwest. We're still just flying the full main and staysail. And as you can see, we've slowed down. We're probably averaging around six. Probably gonna have to pull out the uh, Yankee here pretty soon. All is well aboard SV Ketzel. It's 1 a.m. I've been on back on watch for about an hour. Lizzie's asleep in the aft berth. And uh, SV Ketzel is now uh, aimed directly at St. Augustine Inlet. i um, going to update you on the current conditions here, but uh, so far good passage. We're hoping that we can hold on to this wind as long as possible, minimize the amount of engine time required to complete the trip. Well, good morning sailors. We're literally like two miles offshore from St. Augustine Inlet. Did the whole 140 miles under sail, which makes me very happy.
And just like that, SV Ketzel is anchored just north of the Bridge of Lions. Be here for a day. Go grab a mooring ball tomorrow.